Hey everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use your Canon camera as a webcam for video calls, streaming, all kinds of stuff on your computer, and it's completely free. You don't need a capture card or anything, you just need the camera. Let's get into it. Whoa, sorry for this interruption, I'll be quick. I just wanna let you guys know that all of my Amazon affiliate links to all my gear, as well as all my social media links are in the description if you wanna check any of them out. And if you get anything from this video, if you enjoyed it, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing, it really helps me out. Okay, back to the video. So there's a few reasons you might wanna do this. The first one being you just wanna step up your stream quality and make your video quality a little bit better, whether that's on Twitch or Zoom. Because a DSLR or mirrorless camera will have better video quality than just a regular webcam. But the conventional way to hook up your DSLR to your computer is using a capture card, which is another $100, $200 that you're gonna to have to spend. This is gonna be free. And the other reason you might wanna do this is because you already own a Canon camera, but you don't own a webcam and you need a webcam. That's the reason I personally did this because I already have a Canon DSLR for photography for my YouTube videos, and I don't have a webcam, but I needed one for Zoom and I didn't wanna pay $80, $100 for just a webcam if I could use my DSLR. All right, let's get into it because this is really easy. So basically we're using Canon's proprietary software to trick your computer into thinking your DSLR is a webcam. So this specific software only works with Canon cameras, but it works with pretty much all of them. They have a list on their website, I'll show you. So first you're gonna Google Canon EOS webcam utility and click the first link. Now you're gonna scroll down and choose Windows if you're on Windows, Mac if you're on Mac, this works on both. So you're gonna scroll all the way down until you see this list that says select your compatible camera. This is a list of all the cameras you can do this with. Here's mine, the EOS 60 Mark II. So we're going to click on that. So this is going to take us to the drivers and downloads page. And as you can see right there, EOS webcam utility, hit the download button on that. Not to be confused with EOS utility. That's different. Make sure it says webcam. So if you're on Windows like me, this will download a zip folder. All you need to do is unpack that zip folder and start the setup.exe file. That's going to install the software you need. And now you can pretty much use your DSLR as a webcam. So using the USB cable on your camera, plug it into your computer and turn on your camera. So now your DSLR, when it's plugged in and turned on, should show up as a webcam option in Microsoft Teams, Zoom, meetings, what, I don't know what they're all called now. You can even use it in Discord, but I'm gonna show you how to set it up in OBS. So in OBS, you're gonna hit the plus button to add a new source and select a video capture device. You can name it whatever you like. And now under the device drop-down menu, you should see EOS webcam utility, select that. Now the downside to doing it this way, instead of using a capture card with your DSLR, is that you won't be able to output in 1080p. It's gonna be a little bit less than that depending on what your DSLR is because it's just, that's how it works, unfortunately. It can't transfer a clean 1080p signal over USB. At least my camera can't. If you have a really nice Canon DSLR, maybe you can. But that's okay because most people aren't watching live streams in 1080p anyways. It's usually 720p. And that matters even less if your webcam is just a small corner of the screen because then it's gonna be scaled down. You won't even be able to tell. And for conference calls and talking in Discord and stuff like that, it's more than enough. Remember, resolution isn't everything. A 1080p webcam is going to look worse than a 720p stream from your DSLR. So that is about all I have to show to you today. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing if you want to see more stuff like this. My links are in the description for all my social media as well as Amazon affiliate links to all my gear if you want to check that out. But thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.